have gone through a name evolution. Huh. Now here's what I mean. At one time, when Dr. King got the Nobel Peace Prize, we were colored people. They called us colored people. That's why they had the science colored water, fountains, colored. Angela Davis, you know Angela Davis? Mm -hmm. When she came along with the bushy hat, mm -hmm. and she started emphasizing our African heritage. Mm -hmm. So we went from being colored to Afro-American. Now, Afro, F-R-O, didn't stay around very long. Then we evolved into African Americans. So now we are, 2013, we are proud African American. But what I want to look back when we were known as colored people, there were some characteristics that we had in greater abundance that we don't have now. Now here, here's some things, let me point out some. When we were known as colored people, we had a greater commitment that we don't have now. Mm -hmm. We didn't have much money, but we had the commitment. That commitment is what built churches like 16th Street, New Pilgrim, 6th Avenue, St. John Baptist. It built stores in our communities. Commitment. We were short on the money, but we had that commitment when we were known as colored people. Now here's the next quality that we had. It was honest. Our parents taught us, give a man an honest day's work and you expect an honest day's pay. But look at us now in too many instances. I tell the young people, they want a job where they go in at 11 in the morning. <laughs> they want an hour off of work. <laughs> And then at 3 o'clock, they want to start packing up to go home. <laughs> and if the boss man says anything about their work habits, they want to say that he's mean. I understand. And then the next thing we have when we're known as colored people, we don't have now. When Dr. Martin Luther King was leading us, we had unity. More of us believe then that a house divided against itself cannot stand. We believe in unity, their strength, but, but look at us now. How splendid we are. We don't even have a national voice other than Al Sharpton speaking. And when Dr. King, we were beautiful people. Barack running for president for the first time and even for the second time. So black folks going around asking, is he black enough? <laughs> when we were colored people, we supported. And then here's the next thing that we had in greater abundance when we were colored people, civil rights movement, and to show that we still need it, it's this thing called respect. And when we were known as other people, for the most part, we had more respect for God, for the church, for other people, and for ourselves. When I was coming up, many of you coming up, when we were colored people, you didn't hear nothing about folks going to the church and they stealing the communion wax <laughs> and the air conditioning out of the church. We had respect. And, and then here's another thing. We had when we were only colored people we don't have now showed the need for it. We had more care and concern. Now I remember I was in the book here when my dad and other men in the community they would put a hog on a cold day. And they put the meat in a little pile. And when they start taking that pile, they said, this pile here, you take this pile to Miss Molly down the street, that with her elderly lady. And this other pile here, you take it to Uncle John over there. We had care, we had concern for each other. But now, 
You can pick up your newspaper on Friday morning and you look at the obituary column and you see a picture there of your neighbor that will knock you back because here's your neighbor dead and you didn't even know that your neighbor was sick. Care and concern. Now, that's why we need the movement today. Only the emphasis has to change. And I thank God for each one of you young people in college because you, you, you're where the emphasis needs to be. Amen. And we've got to encourage more of our people to get education, education, education. It's a sad thing when we got more of young black men in the penal institutions of Alabama than you have in colleges. Where are you going without an education? Now, so we got to teach our, our people. And you know something we got to teach or share with people, share with young people in Augusta. Teach, teach them okay. Look, I will tell you young people that three things you can learn. Even if you don't go to Lawson State, if you don't go to Wheaton Order to finish our school, three things. If you learn to say these three things, they'll take you a long way. It, it, it's what I call social graces. Learn to say, I love you. Some of us at home tell mama sometimes. Tell grandmama, big brother, I love you. Learn to say, I thank you. Amen. What folks do for you, what they say, they don't have to do it. They don't have to say it. Learn to say, I thank you. And then, son, in this life, if it becomes necessary, don't you be so big you can't say, I am sorry. Mm. Those three things make it a part of your life. They'll take you a long ways right there. I love you, I thank you, and I'm sorry. So that's why we need silver. We just got to change the emphasis and put the emphasis on education, using all of these opportunities to teach our people and point them in the right direction. We still need it. It's just as significant today as it was back then. See, when your enemy get new schemes, you got to change your tactics too. Mm. Could you repeat that statement you just said? Could you repeat what you just said when the enemy? Could you repeat that? She wants you to repeat what you just repeat said. What you oh, just yeah. said. When, 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 when the enemy changes his tactics, you got to be prepared to change your emphasis also. You see, when they have signs there, color. And those, signs, those discriminatory laws were on the book. Mm -hmm. You had something there you knew you had to attack. Mm -hmm. Dr. King and the methods then, that was good. That has been dismounted now. But you got some smart fellows down there in this Republican Party mm -hmm. now. And so we got to educate our people. And you know another area we got to educate our people then, we got to teach our people still how to use the money to use some sense. Mm -hmm. Because too many of our people get, get trapped up into this indebtedness. And many of it comes from a simple credit card. Yeah. Okay. We got to educate our people. 